Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd also like to thank my colleague from Delaware County for making the motion to allow uh, the non-public schools to get their textbooks and equipment. I'd like to thank my colleague from Bucks County for being so incredibly eloquent on why, if you're going to make one vote this afternoon, this is the one that you should make. Like many of you, I received a bunch of emails saying that children in my district would go without textbooks if we didn't get the budget done. So I carefully called my school superintendents and discovered that that was not true of any of the public schools. In fact, my public schools are mostly funded at home, get very little state aid, and are not having any trouble paying for textbooks. And I responded that way to all the emails saying, I've consulted the North Penn School District and the Wissahickon School District, and we're not having any problems getting textbooks. I got one answer back that said, my child goes to St. Helena's, and that's not what sister says. And by the way, having gone to a Catholic school myself, I paid attention. So I called St. Helena's and discovered that they can't order their textbooks until we assure them that the money is there and that the process for getting approval from the Department of Education for the textbooks that can be reimbursed and ordering those textbooks and getting those textbooks in a good year takes quite a bit of time, which has already passed. They literally cannot order the textbooks that they need at St. Helena's. And I'll bet you have a school like that in your district. I'll tell you why. In Pennsylvania, 120,983 students go to a parish or Catholic school. All of those students are saving their local school districts Collectively, 967, 864,000 million dollars at a minimum. And they benefit by very little in our budget. This is not a big line item for us. This is not something the governor should fault you for releasing. And we have the money. You know this, every time you buy something at a store, that 6% goes to Harrisburg. We've got this money, we can do this, we can get it done. And we really have people in all of our districts who need it. The money's there. I don't think the governor can fault you if you depart from him on this one vote. And I do think that the people that you represent will be very grateful. Please, please let the money go. Thank you.